Hi there, I'm Ben. Time for another gold medal guide for Red Dead Redemption 2. The mission we're doing in this video is the first mission of Chapter 6, Icarus and Friends. There are four objectives you need to complete for the gold medal. They are keep the balloon at the correct altitude for the entire journey, get five headshots from the balloon, complete with at least 70% accuracy, and complete the mission without taking any health items. As always, the objectives will be in the description with timestamps if you wish to skip ahead. The health item objective is here, so don't consume anything that improves your health, and don't die. With regard to the accuracy objective, 70% is quite generous. Obviously this means you can miss 3 out of every 10 shots. There are only 2 combat sections during this mission, there is a chase sequence while you're in the balloon, and a regular shootout once you crash land. You can complete the regular shootout at the end however you like, as long as you keep your accuracy high. It's just getting 5 headshots while in the balloon that may cause a problem for some, but we always have good old Deadeye to help us out with that. I'll go into more detail once we get there. First though, we need to keep the balloon the correct altitude for the entire journey, so I'll pick the commentary back up once we're in the balloon. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Oh, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, pull on that rope and hope for the best. Right, so now we have to keep the balloon at the right altitude for the entire flight. Don't worry, you don't have to do this while you're shooting the O'Driscolls from the balloon later on though. The only button you need to fly the balloon is R2, or right trigger on the Xbox. You don't need to steer or anything, the wind will take care of that. As you take off, hold R2, you'll notice the white bar on the outside move round in a clockwise direction. When the balloon enters optimal altitude, the bar will turn yellow. You'll notice there's a little mark at about 8 o'clock on the gauge. This is the middle of the optimal altitude range. This is where you want to keep the yellow bar. Let go of R2 and it will begin to drop. Just gently top it up when you need by holding R2 in short bursts. The marker will begin to move anti-clockwise as you move towards the prison, so keep an eye on this and adjust your altitude accordingly. 
Once at the prison, search for John. Then, when you get spotted, hold R2 to fly away. You won't control the balloon again until the end of the chase with Sadie. During that part, you have to fly over a bridge, then drop down to pick up Sadie. The gauge will turn red at this point, but don't worry about it, it's unavoidable. Right, so the next objective is five headshots while aboard the balloon. I'll pick the commentary back up at the beginning of the chase. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this hunt. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Sure, you shouldn't be doing this. Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off late. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. in the pursuit of aviation. I uh, didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. Nope, not there. Not in this field. That's not him. I can't believe we're doing this. Is that him? Yep, that's him. Ah, my God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! This is absolutely... 
salute the insane. The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. All right, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. So this is the part where you need to get five headshots. There are quite a few O'Driscolls here, probably ten or twelve, so you'll have lots of chances to get five headshots. I'm sure you know what I'm going to say here. Dead eye. That's what's going to help you complete this objective. Don't feel like you have to start shooting straight away. Remember, you need to complete with 70% accuracy. So just wait until Arturo brings you in closer. Now snap in and out of Deadeye, tagging one enemy head at a time. If this is your main playthrough, obviously feel free to use tonics and tobacco to fill your Deadeye back up. If you're replaying the mission, you're going to have to be more conservative when picking your targets. Always choose the closest enemies to make things easier for yourself. Once you're directly above the train tracks, you won't have any more opportunities to get headshots, so make sure you get them before then. After that, you need to save Sadie by throwing a rope down to her and getting the altitude right. The gauge will turn red as you go over the bridge, but don't worry, this is unavoidable. After that, you'll crash and there will be another firefight. The only thing you have to remember here is your accuracy. You can take your time and kill them however you like. Once they're all dead, the mission will end and you'll have another gold medal to add to your collection. Hopefully. Right, I'll shut up now and let the rest of the mission play out. Like and subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Wait till I tell Baldessario about this! Us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave them for one day? Just kill these sons uh -huh. of bitches!
move up and finish these bastards! I'm gonna be losing your corpse in a moment! You can tell Paul to be Nearly there! Only a few of them left! I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Combe, the government. They got Combe O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat. A little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. 